You are watching Entertainment Episode Wednesday, January the 5th, 2011-2241. Bruce Sterling and John Lubkowski have once again produced a beginning of the year State of the World Conversation, their 11th annual edition on the well. Video link the first big event at the annual Consumer Electronics Show in Vegas is CIS, unveiled, a press event designed to show off some of the year's best new items. In practice, it's often a bit of a letdown. Jai's motto's Brian Lamb found this year's thin pickings engendered a sense of crippling cynicism because the best stuff is announced the next day at individual press conferences. But that doesn't stop the attending hordes forming a queue hours before the doors are set to open. And this is nothing on the keynote speech queue, which traditionally has to be organized by teams of ushers over several floors of the Venetian slash Sands Expo complex. Mercifully, the video compression here conceals the frettle vomit carpet design that is mandatory in hotels and casinos in the state of Nevada. Sonic Youth's soundtrack to the latest film from French director Fabrice Gobert, Simon Werner Adespero, aka Lights Out, is headed for release. According to the band's news blog, the score serves as the latest installment in the band's experimental leaning SAR series. It will be released on the band's SAR imprint digitally on January the 25th via Midevan, on CD February the 15th, and March the 1st on vinyl. The Guardian reports that Scottish singer-slash-songwriter Jerry Rafferty has died. Rafferty was known for his work in the soft rock duo Steeler's Wheel. Who's Stuck in the Middle with You was infamously used at the climax of Quentin Tarantino's 1992 debut feature film Reservoir Dogs. Rafferty also maintained a successful solo career highlighted by the 1978 single Baker Street. His last solo album, Another World, was released in 2000. Since then, he had kept a low profile. Rafferty's family tells The Guardian that he died at home peacefully with his daughter Martha this morning after a long illness. He was 63. Check out audio and video of Rafferty's work below. Atlanta Rap Stars and 1017 Brick Squad crewmates Gucci Mane and Wake a Flock of Flame are both in trouble with the law. The Atlanta Journal-Constitution reports that Gucci Mane, whose real name is Radrick Davis, has been committed to a psychiatric hospital. Yesterday, with Gucci facing charges of probation violation, Gucci's lawyer filed a plea of mental incompetency, stating that he was unable to stand trial. The judge ordered him sent to Atlanta's Anchor Hospital, a psychiatric and chemical dependency treatment facility. Reuters, Warner Bros. was the top Hollywood studio by market share for a third year in 2010, despite suffering a drop in ticket sales even as overall industry revenues were flat. Reuters, John Goodman is joining Sandra Bullock and Tom Hanks in Extremely Loud and Incredibly Close, a September 11 themed drama to be directed by British filmmaker Stephen Dildry. Um, the flirty duo have bonded over the breakups, a source tells the New Us Weekly. For nearly a quarter century, the Onion has skewered the media with its satirical newspaper, then, starting in 1996, its website and, as of four years ago, the Onion News Network's online videos. Um, ape, Dennis Hopper shot two bullet holes through an Andy Warhol portrait of Mao's Dong but instead of earning the wrath of the artist, Warhol called the Easy Rider star a collaborator. A federal appeals court says the Federal Communications Commission cannot find broadcasters for showing a woman's nude buttocks on a 2003 episode of Nipped Blue. The Masters is about to let anyone play August to National, at least in a video game. Two massage therapists sued Brett Favre on Monday, saying they lost their part-time jobs with the New York Jets after complaining about sexually suggestive text messages from the veteran quarterback. Second baseman Dan Nugler and the Atlanta Braves have reached a preliminary agreement on a $62 million, five-year contract, a person familiar with the negotiations told the Associated Press. A caution to the five people who haven't seen this video already, something startling happens, but the YouTube videographer assures us that all turned out well. Fired under, uncategorized tagged, pups. 
That was all for Entertainment Episode Wednesday, January the 5th, 2011, 22:41 and 3 seconds Singapore time. Thank you for using News Anchor.